The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come, and babe, won't it be fine? You think you've seen the sun, but you ain't seen it shine. Wait till the warm-up's underway. Oh, wait till our lips have met. Wait till you see that sunshine day. You ain't seen nothing yet. The best is yet to come, and babe, won't it be fine? Uh, the best is yet to come, come the day or mine. The best is yet to come, come the day or mine. Ah, come a day or mine I'm gonna teach you to fly We've only tasted the wine We're gonna drain that cup dry Wait till your charms are right For these arms to surround Just about everyone wants to live long But nobody wants to be old Old is not a positive word, and that's why I hit on this idea of Zoomer. You take the word boomer in wide usage, you add the concept of zip, and you get Zoomer. like you're being ignored when you turn on the television. <laughs> I'm talking to those of you in your mid-40s and older. As we all know, advertisers are fixated on appealing to a younger demographic. But here's a dissenting voice. Media mogul Moses Neimer he even has his own name for this golden demographic. He calls us the Zoomers. The world is run by 50 to 80-year-olds. 20-year-olds, uh, they're in the basement. They don't have a pot to pee in.
Moses has coined the most amazing word. People want to call themselves Zoomers. They like the word, it rolls off the tongue, and he's just caught a moment. The way I put it, it's a lot of magazines targeted at the older audience look like medical pamphlets. And I think what we are trying to do is to amplify what's really true of this, of these Zoomers, and it's the energy and the, the, the gusto and the fact that it's a broad and comprehensive lifestyle. Our readers, the Zoomers, buy big ticket items. They buy homes, they buy cars, they buy great tech appliances, they go on trips. I married an older man, he had a cart magazine. I said, I'm not touching that. Zoomer came along and I said, I'm signed up. What does that say to you? What well, says, see whoops, that? my clothes fell off. She posed in the magazine Zoomer in her birthdays. I basically said to him, you got 60 seconds to get this, mister. She wanted to say, you know, we're all beautiful and here we are. If I was an advertiser, what would I do? I'd hire a lot more 50-year-olds, creative 50-year-olds. There's this wonderful uh, research out there now that asks people, how old are you? How old do you think you are? And that gap's now 12 years. So the 55-year-old actually thinks they're 43. They spend their money like a 55-year-old, but they want to feel 43 doing it. And so there's this big gap now between emotional age and, and physical age, and uh, that's, that's making marketing very, very difficult now. What was interesting about youth then, and I'm talking about the 60s, 70s, and 80s, was that the generation was enormous. That's what made it important. And because of the size of that generation, what they thought, what they did, what they consumed in media, fashion, television, movies, was important. It wasn't that they were young. They, of course, continued to age. They is us. We were dominant then. We're still dominant. That's the point that I'm trying to make. And the journalists and the advertisers, well, they're still back there, still back then, thinking that the 20-year-olds remain as important as they were in the age of much music. They're not. Now, if you're nearing retirement and you don't want energy prices and inflation to wreak havoc on your portfolio, particularly since many boomers are now looking forward to zooming on to the next third of their lives, this week I caught up with someone who is redefining retirement. That's perhaps the greatest achievement of the last century is this extension and longevity. We're not only living longer, we're living better. We're living healthier with full function. And then, of course, the boomer generation is living wealthier than any previous generation. Now, here's another word that people have had a mixed reaction to, the word carb. In English, carp is not a good word. It means to complain and also refers to a bottom-feeding fish. On the other hand, if you have a little Jewish culture in you, you know that gefilte fish, that great delicacy, is made with carp. And of course, in the Chinese tradition, the carp is held to be a symbol of great prosperity. So we decided to take the sting out of the word, not to waste our time thinking about how we might replace it, but to have some fun with it. And that's how we came up with our new logo, sporting the happy, golden big fish. I've been asked, what is our purpose today? It's to introduce ourselves to parliamentarians and to help you put some faces to the initials C-A-R-P. Uh, C-A-R-P used to stand for the Canadian Association of Retired Persons. Uh, we don't say that anymore. Uh, today, it stands for the Canadian Association of Refreshed, Recharged, Revitalized Persons. 
And uh, in, in that little difference, you, you have the entire story. We took our message directly to Parliament Hill. We held a little reception for MPs and Senators, and we had an overwhelming response. It was really quite a success. And our message was very simple. The older voter is the most engaged and committed voter, and CARP members in particular are very engaged. And so we're basically saying to them that if they pick issues that resonate with CARP members, then they can have it pay off at the ballot box. And I think they heard that loud and clear, and the name CARP is resonating in the halls of Parliament Hill. I'm tired of being treated like I don't count. So I think the Zoomer word, irrespective of where people are at, whether they're 40 or 80, um, shouldn't really matter. It's a wonderful, inspirational word. Zoomer! <laughs> First of all, those of us who have aged, and we've all aged somewhat, have got this tendency to block everything new. The old have this thing about not wanting change. Please don't let this organisation not want change. I think the vision is fantastic. It's dynamic, it's exciting, I'd like to be involved. I really thought it was great. As baby boomers age, the population of Canadian seniors is growing, and so too is an organization committed to helping people retire comfortably. CARP has opened a branch in Kitchener-Waterloo. This is your entire board of directors for CARP Chapter 25. Please put your hands together. The bulk of the emphasis when people talk about chapters is to get the political work done. But I'm constantly encouraging people to get together and go bowling. Um, and as, as we say in our slogan, ABC, advocacy is part of it. There's some people who are in it for the savings, and that's perfectly legitimate. But there is also a large group of people who like to get together with other people roughly the same age, roughly with the same interests in mind, and go out and have some fun. <laughs> There is discrimination in the workforce, especially the, my friends and colleagues. One of the things we try and do in the magazine, on our television channels, on our radio stations, is to project a different idea of aging. To show the vitality, the gusto, the knowledge, the experience which this society needs. I'm here to proclaim that Carp is the new cool. Behind us is the proud flying of the Carp flag, representing all of our members right across Canada and in celebration and tribute to seniors right across Canada. Well, the Maritimes trip. Uh, through PEI, New Brunswick, and, and, and into Nova Scotia is all about staying in touch with our maritime members. We've got thousands of members down here. We don't get down that often. It's an important way to continue the dialogue to make sure that they know what CARP is up to. We have to get our message out directly to politicians when we have a chance to meet with them, but if we have to, over their heads, through the media, from every possible direction. My stance has been almost identical to what CARP has looked at over these five years. We have a real opportunity now to enhance the federal program with regard to pensions for retirees here in Canada. We have a real Tommy Douglas moment where we can make a change outside any kind of election cycle and we have a real opportunity to do that. I'm 90 years old. My age is a number and it's unlisted. I love the Zuma magazine. I 
lot of our advocacy is focusing on the need for better home care services to give some kind of financial support for families who take on the caregiving responsibilities and looking in on people. And one of the things that we can do as an organization is take it to the other chapters in our organization and make it public as well. Yeah. So we do make presentations yeah. to government around these issues as we did today. I will send this to the Universal Pinch. I will yes, send it on to Colin Hansen as the chair of the, uh, the minister's uh, working group. Fantastic. We have the numbers, we have the money, we have the influence, and you know, we just need to organize ourselves in a more effective way. Reducing the anxiety that many Canadians feel about their retirement is not just an issue for older Canadians, it is an issue for all Canadians. And the fact that CARP members are championing reform speaks to its importance across generations and to your selfless spirit. Thank you for keeping the issue at the fore. I would work with the provinces and territories, with workers, with employers, and with organizations like CARP to enhance the Canada Pension Plan. 300,000 Canadian seniors, over 65, live below the poverty line. So that's why today I'm announcing that when new Democrats form government in 2015, we will restore fair pensions for seniors, and we will restore OAS eligibility to age 65. You work and work for years and years. You're always on the go. You never take a minute off. Too busy making okay. dough. Someday you say you'll have your fun when you're a millionaire. Imagine all the fun you'll have. In your old rocking chair. Lots of information, lots of uh, giveaways, lots of things to see. I like the name Zoomer. I think it uh, kind of takes away the stereotyping of our so-called boomer age. I'm one of the sandwich generation, you know, I'm looking after my growing children, but my parents as well, so I was really glad to see that they have a lot of caregiver boots here. It's nice to see the, the different manufacturers here displaying their goods. Look at this lineup! You don't have time. Look at this. Oh. Like moonlight and romance. Well, welcome to the Zoomer Show. Dollar bills tied neatly in a stack. But when you kiss a dollar bill, it doesn't kiss you back. Enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. Enjoy yourself. While you're still in the pink. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. And there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe, and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. 
They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. So, I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! Just get up from your chairs right now. Go to Where the window. Where are you going? Everybody I don't want to see if anybody's yelling. <laughs>